Welcome back to Prison Architect. It's the tutorial series here on the channel, and I'm your host, Longtime Listener. In this episode, we are going to go over offices. Now, offices are pretty simple. Um, the requirements are that they've got to be 4x4, four four, have to have an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. Now, I like to put a couch into each of them as well, psychiatrists office require couches anyway um there are a couple of rooms here that you can see i don't have couches and it's just because i've got heaters instead but bottom line it's probably not a terrible idea to just go ahead and throw a couch in there they're not super expensive and that way if for whatever reason you ever need to convert something to a psychiatrist's office it's already ready to go um, but it, those are the very minimal requirements, are the desk, the chair, and the filing cabinet. It's got to be 4x4, four four, which if you're just building the square, it's a 6x6 six six square to cover the walls on each side. Now, there are some things to keep in mind as far as just like functionality and some strategies around the office. Um, when you build offices, like let's say I was to go in and build this giant block of offices all at once. And then I hire a warden and I hire an accountant, lawyers. I hire all these people. They are going to claim the office that was built first. That's how that works. So, like, for example, if I do all this and then I want my psychiatrists up here so that I can then, like, block off the rest of this so that it's staff only in this whole area, I would want to make sure that these two offices were the last ones built and then hire the psychiatrists. So there will be prisoners that need to access these areas from time to time because if you have psychiatric consultations, they're going to go to the psychiatrist's office. If you have behavioral therapy, they will go to the psychologist's office. Those are the only offices where inmates will need to go unless you have cleaning uh, assignments for some inmates and they have access to this area but if you make it staff only your staff janitors will clean that area so that's probably a good idea but at a minimum you want to make sure that the inmates have access to the psychiatrists and the psychologist um, it's possibly if you can do it it would be a good idea to have the psychologist's office next to the common room because that is where they will do group therapy you've got to have chairs in the common room and if that's the case your psychologist will go here and do group therapy now if they've got to walk all the way across the prison to get there that's not necessarily ideal but it can work it's just something to keep in mind your foreman will need to go to the workshop so like in this scenario my foreman is way over here he's got to walk all the way down here to do the safety instruction classes in the workshop. So that's probably not ideal. Something to maybe keep in mind is if you're gonna have, uh, you know, like one dedicated workshop, maybe just build a little annex off of it that is the office for the foreman. And that way he's right there, doesn't have to go very far for it. Finally, the chief will leave to go to a classroom to teach guard taser certification. So that's the other one where one of those, um, staff members are actually going to leave to go do a task so if you can maybe put like a security or the you know the chief's office next to the classroom but again those are probably not a huge deal but just something that helps limit um you know the amount of traffic that's moving throughout your your prison which is always a good idea by the way now the office is a hot spot for luxurious contraband so Let's look at this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Dangers. Look at all the contraband in this area. There's booze, cigarettes, cell phones, lighters, pens, needles. Like, the, um, the psychiatrists are going to have some medicine and stuff. So, it's probably a good idea to try and limit the amount of traffic coming in and out of there as far as inmates go. That's why if you can make it a staff only, that's a fantastic idea. At a minimum, you would want to make it access only, where the inmates are only coming in there if they've got to go into that room for whatever reason. But, um, again, it is a hot spot for contraband. The last thing that I will say is that it's probably not a terrible idea to have a staff room close by. 
so that they can quickly leave there, go get their meal or rest or whatever, and not have to walk super far to get there. Again, it's just a general idea is the, the less you have people moving around your prison facility, the more likely you are to avoid, to avoid uh, issues. So, like, for example, I'm just going to put a staff door right here, and then they can easily just walk up this hallway, through that door, and into this staff room. That is going to do it for this uh, tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Please be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment below, and we'll see y'all next time.